Hello. I'm not gonna show you. Oh, fuck. Well, you probably just saw it. Um... If you have headphones, I definitely suggest you maybe turn it down just a little Because my ears just died. <laughs> but, yes, we were playing Until Dawn. I've, it's been sitting in the back of my games for a good minute now. Um, subtitles... Audio's fine. Cool. So, we're gonna get right on into it with the new story. on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. weekend. Josh. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm.
Oh my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. If y'all do have headphones, I really, really recommend having them kind of quiet, because this game is Hannah! a little loud. Oh, shit. 
Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Well, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Sunshine. <laughs> I see. So which word? would best describe how you feel about darkness. <laughs> well, winter nights are cold and dark. Depression, feelings of loneliness are not uncommon. This night in which your game takes place is particularly cold and dark. I would think that you might feel isolated at times. Does that bother you? Well, not much of a people's person, are we? Well, it seems we have uncovered a significant topic to explore in our next session, but for now, we're out of time. Have fun on your own. Until then. <sighs> Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. 
Parker, Annie Klein, who's in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Well, this is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Well, hello and welcome. That was kind of a very long introduction, but that's okay. So I hope y'all enjoy this. I've been excited to play this for a little bit, so.
haven't played this in a good minute, so I'm glad to be able to play this again. Aww. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Cutie. Oh, cool. All right. Loss. Danger. And fortune. Um. I always strive to get good endings. I don't know how this is going to go. I haven't played this in a very long time. And so... So let's kind of look around, I guess. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Snoop. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't know all that crazy stuff. Chris! Sam, hey, hey, you made it. If he were a methodical. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here gonna blow your mind. Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? I hope not. At least someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. information contact the BM the BPMC so this is Canada Ta-da! pretty rad right yeah come on look at these beauties uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind why is this even here what do you mean 
What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Dead. Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Well. Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh no. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Shit. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Yes, it does. It must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how. Yeah, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Yeah. That's for you. Oh, real gentleman. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family bought a mountain. Huh? <sighs> I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this going to take? It's a big mountain. Stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Just like going to the prom. Together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just. Let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? 
No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. I think butterfly effect is definitely real and definitely kind of intimidating. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? And with that, I will call this it, so I'll see y'all next time. Peace.